how to read and write numbers up to 1 million. Hello everyone, welcome back to my classroom. Today, we're going to learn how to read, write, and understand the place value of numbers up to 1 million. Are you ready? Let's go! Let's meet Maria. She is a member of the Girl Scouts of the Philippines. They conducted a nationwide pre-planting activity. The number shown below is the total number of seedlings they planted. Can you read this number? First, let's understand what a number is. A number is made up of digits to show an amount. A digit is any of these symbols. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 4, 9. Each digit has a place and a value depending on where it is in the number. When we count, we start from zero, which means none. Then the numbers go up as we keep on counting the last single digit number, which is nine. This is called the ones place. Now, what happens if we add one more? Since there's no digit after nine, we add another place to the left. That gives us the number 10, which now has two digits. The new place is called the tens place. As we keep counting, we eventually reach 99. Adding one more bring us to 100. We now have the third place, which is the hundreds place. And it has three digits. When we count even higher, we will eventually reach 1000. This gives us a new place called the thousands place. And it has four digits. Next, if we keep on counting, we will eventually reach 10,000. Now we have the 10,000th place, and it has 5 digits. Then, a 100th place, which has 6 digits. And finally, the millionth place, which has 7 digits. Now, these are called the place values. Place value is a system where the position of a digit in a number determines its value. It also helps us read and write numbers correctly. Now, looking at the place value chart, we can see that it is divided by a period. We have the units, thousands, and millions. Under units, we have the ones, tens, and hundreds. After that, we have the thousand periods, and under thousands period is the thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousand. And finally, we have millions. Now let's go back to the number of seedlings planted. Let's learn how to read it using a place value chart. First, Let's place each digit to its correct place. Here you can see that after every period, we put a comma. This is to separate the period from each other. Now let us read. First, we have here 862, which is in the thousands period. So that's 862 thousands. And we have 453. So we read this number as 862,453. Now let's try reading and writing more numbers. We'll use our place value chart to help us. First, we have this number. Let's place each digit to the correct place. Now let's read. We have here 3 in the thousands period, so that's 3,000. And in the units, we have 183. So we can read this as 3,000. 183. Wonderful! Let's try another one. Let's place its digit to its correct place value. First, we have 95 under the thousands period, so that will be 95,000. And since there's no more under the units, this is now how we read the number. It's 95,000. Now, let's move on and try another one. How about this number? Again, let's place each number to its correct place value. Now, let's start with this period. We have 761 under the thousands place. So, that's 761,000. And under the units, we have 235. Now, we read it as 761,235. And finally, we have this number. Let's place each digit in its correct place value. So here, we start from 1 under the million period. So that's 1 million. And since there's no more under 1,000 in units period, this is now how we read this number. 
It is one million. Wonderful. Now let's keep on practicing. This time we will translate these words into numbers. So we have here 51,000. So it means we have 51 under the thousands period. Here we go. And we have 242 under the units period. There. Now we have 51,242. Don't forget to place the comma to separate each period. Let's go to the next one. So here we have 90,000. So 90 under the thousands period. And 900 under the units period. Again, don't forget to place the comma to separate each period. Now we have here 90,900. Lastly, we have this. 928,740. So again, we have here under the thousands period. So we have 928. Separate it with a comma. And under the units period, we have 740. Now that's how we write this number. 928,740. Great job, everyone! You made it this far. Now, here are the things that you learned today.